The NBA has strict rules around accessories and dress code, but even with these rules, we've seen NBA stars rock some insane face masks that end up getting banned and leading to fines. During the 2012 NBA season, Kobe Bryant was still putting up huge numbers with the Los Angeles Lakers. Based off the season, Kobe would acquire another all-star selection, but this all-star weekend would stick with him forever. Kobe took an ugly shot to the face for Miami Heat star Dwayne Wade, but finished out the game before getting evaluated. However, after a CT scan, according to ESPN, it revealed a nasal fracture. Although Kobe had been diagnosed with a concussion and a fractured nose, he found a way to keep playing at a high level. Kobe scored over 30 points in three games he played with the mask on. The mask Mambo was on a tear, but decided to switch up his clear mask with a custom black one. On March 6, 2012, Kobe walked out into the court looking like some version of a superhero, something we'd never seen before. It was perfect for Kobe. Brian designed the black mask that night because the more clear mask would get too foggy for him. Sadly, he only wore it for one half before claiming discomfort, but it didn't matter because the NBA wouldn't let him wear it again anyways. Now, Kyrie Irving has always been known for his flashy plays and his signature playmaking ability, but for some reason, whenever Kyrie changes something up, he tends to go off. From his jersey getting naturally untucked to him wearing a mask, Kyrie doesn't disappoint. Throughout his career, Kyrie's had two separate injuries that required him to wear a mask. On December 14, 2012, back in the pre-James days of the Cleveland Cavaliers, Irving broke a bone in his jaw in a game against the Milwaukee Bucks. A day later, the then 20-year-old wore a mask while facing the New York Knicks on the road. Commonly, most NBA stars wear a clear mask, but for the Knicks game, Kyrie decided to wear a different black one. He came out of the tunnel for pre-game warm-ups looking like someone from a movie. The Phantom of the Garden went nuts for a then career high of 41 points while saucing up Knicks guards Raymond Felton and Jason Kidd. But remember, this was a Cleveland squad about a year and a half removed from LeBron coming back home. So even on Kyrie's monster night, as Carmelo Anthony sat out on New York's bench with a sprained ankle, the struggling Cavs lost. In 19 games wearing the mask, during the 2012-2013 season, Irving averaged 24 points while shooting 47.5% from the field at 39.8% from beyond the arc. After the game, Kyrie be asked about wearing the black mask instead of the clear one. He said, you didn't see me take it off as much, so that's a positive. I get to see a little bit more of the crowd tonight. Eye holes were a little bigger. Basketball looked a little bit better. It was a better fit and I'm happy with it. On November 14th, 2017, Kyrie had to deal with another injury, and at the time, he was only allowed to wear the clear mask. Before Irving got fitted for his mask heading into that game, his infant daughter accidentally hit him in the face, in the spot where he suffered the fracture. Kyrie said in the interview, I did my absolute best to not cry in front of her. I was like, oh my goodness, baby. She hit me right on that spot. Irving fought through the pain for a game-high 25 points. It wasn't the career night that he pieced together with the mask four years ago against the Knicks, but it didn't matter. Irving led the Celtics to their 13th consecutive win. And after the win, Kyrie was asked about the clear mask and his answer was priceless. I hate wearing it, but somehow, it just caused a craze on Instagram. As well social media. I understand that it's just for my safety, so I throw on the mask for a few weeks and go about my business. LeBron James is known throughout his career for his ability to push through adversity. James rarely gets injured, so when something bad happens, it definitely hurts the team. Now, James was forced to wear a mask after suffering an injury during a 2014 win against OKC. Midway through the fourth quarter, Thunder forward Serge Ibaka struck him in the face in a drive to the basket. LeBron missed the Heat's home victory against Chicago and spent time during the week privately sorting through a selection of masks designed by a local Miami manufacturer. James initially told some of his teammates and the media he would likely wear a clear fiberglass mask, similar to the ones worn by several other players in the league, to protect facial injuries. But James emerged Thursday with a sleek design that was significantly more dynamic than usual. LeBron would make a statement, playing with that custom mask looking like Batman. The Miami Heat MVP torched the New York Knicks wearing a custom black carbon fiber mask to protect his broken nose. And James would go on to talk about the mask design by saying, what with the uniform? I knew we were wearing throwback uniforms. I was able to get a carbon fiber one. It was actually lighter than the one I've been wearing in practice. Came through at the last minute, so I went with it. LeBron went on to score 31 points on 13 and 19 shooting. Also, during the game, James would have one of his most iconic dunks of his career, but his teammates were more focused on the mask rather than his performance. Chris Bosh went on to say, I think he played like Batman out there. I think it really helped him. He played great. The Heat forward Shane Battier would go on to say, I thought him I'd expect nothing less from him. Fashion forward. Cutting edge. Renaissance man that LeBron is. I thought it looked pretty sweet. I don't think it'll inspire people to go out there and break their nose, but if you're going to do it, it'll look kind of cool. Only LeBron can make breaking your nose look cool. Aside from all the looks, LeBron was still getting used to the mask. After the game, James told a sideline reporter, a couple of times it was a problem. A couple of times I kept seeing inside the mask before I could see a player. For the most part, I was able to get into a good comfortable zone and make some plays. I just kind of tried to forget about it. Maybe when it got hot a few times. I was happy with a couple of the timeouts when they came. I was able to take it off. The NBA told LeBron after that game, he could no longer wear the black mask. We haven't seen LeBron's alter ego ever since. We don't know why the black mask was banned, but maybe LeBron with the mask on was too much for the league to handle. Many other players in NBA history wore one-of-a-kind masks as well. Richard Hamilton pretty much escalated the status because of him constantly repping the accessory. Back in 2018, Joel Embiid as well debuted as something we'd never seen. This happened because Embiid ran into Markel Folk's shoulder during a March 28th matchup between the 76ers and the Knicks, where he was later diagnosed with a concussion and an orbital fracture under his left eye. Embiid needed surgery on his fracture, and he set out the last eight games of the regular season and the first two games of Philly's first round series against the Heat, but Embiid's orbital fracture wasn't the first major injury he had to his face. He also suffered an eye injury in January 2014, back when he was a freshman at Kansas. 
so this injury became somewhat significant, as Embiid was forced to wear goggles after these incidents. So this mask was created for him to be extra protective, being carbon and polycarbonate with goggles built into them. It was reported that this was super high-tech, involving Embiid's camp, 76ers, and NBA doctors. Tuner Sports' Rebecca Harlow also provided some insight on Embiid's mask. She noted the carbon is stronger than traditional plastic, and it took extra time to get the mask fitted perfectly for Embiid's face. She said, There are just two of these masks. It took 20 iterations to get to this one. A couple of things, it's incredibly light. Now you see it's big, darker in color, that's a carbon, which makes it even stronger than plastic. And then interestingly enough, as a cover over the eyes, as to protect the orbital bone. So the Sixers are confident there's no way he'll go out there and re-injure the eye. You gotta wonder how comfortable it'll be to play with this all night long. Embiid went on to wear the black mask with clear goggles in his first game back from the injury, which also happened to be the first playoff game of his career. The mask was the first and only of his kind, a work of art that pretty much made him look like a superhero or a villain. And another mask that stood completely out from the rest came from the NCAA, involving Jarvis Garrett. He missed one game with an upper jaw injury, but came back to the court again for Rhode Island's 68-66 loss to Dayton. He wasn't completely healthy during this performance, and needed to rep what was called a Hannibal-style protective mask in order to play. The mask made headlines as it was one of the scariest masks we'd ever seen on a basketball court. Despite him finishing the game with 13 points, 2 rebounds, and 4 assists, the mask was the highlight. Hey yo dog, if you don't click on this video on the screen, I'm gonna break your orbital bones area and jaw. Yeah, then you'll have to wear a mask and look like a super villain. Huh, what do you think about that, huh? Okay, I'm capping. I won't actually do that, but I would really appreciate if you click on the video, dog. Alright, th thanks bro, thanks.